In this video, I'm gonna share with you guys my strategy in cleaning convertible tops on this Mini Cooper. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you guys are here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you are a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So right now I'm on location and I'm detailing this Mini Cooper and I'm gonna go ahead and do the outside, but I wanna show you guys kind of step number one with the outside, which is the convertible top for obvious reasons because you wanna work obviously top down because I don't wanna clean all the paint and then have to hose off the convertible top, clean the convertible top and then have all those dirty suds running down the paint so I'm obviously going to start with that but I've had a lot of people ask how I do this so in this video we're going to talk about the products I use and the tools and kind of exactly the steps I take so let's go ahead and get into it so as many of you who are involved in the Wilson auto detailing community know I'm a really big fan of a lot of show car products because I really just think they're a very very good company great customer service and they put out really really awesome products no I don't get paid by them but this is an all-purpose cleaner from show car and it's called cleans all all right now this specific all-purpose cleaner says right here it cleans all surfaces not adversely affected by water so basically they're saying that this cleaner is good for basically any surface that isn't going to be damaged by putting water on it so that means cloth leather plastics rubber vinyl all of those surfaces I've been using this product on the interior for a good amount of time now but I've actually been using it on the exterior for certain things like bug removal like black trim like convertible tops and so I have it diluted in this bottle about eight to one, 10 to one ish, probably more like eight to one. And this is going to be what I use for cleaning the convertible top. So I'm a very big fan of this specific all purpose cleaner. Most of the time I use things like super clean diluted five to one or Meguiar's all purpose cleaner diluted 10 to one. But in this video, because I have this on hand and because I really like this product and I've been using it and experimenting with it, we're gonna use this product. But again, you could use something like super clean degreaser or Meguiar's all purpose cleaner. So step number one is probably fairly obvious. I'm just gonna take my hose and I'm literally going to soak the whole top of the convertible. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna take my show car all-purpose cleaner, my cleans all, and I'm literally just going to soak the convertible top with this cleaner. I'm not gonna be conservative. I'm not worried about getting it on the windows or the paint. It's not gonna hurt anything. So I'm just gonna soak the whole top as much as I can. And I do wanna put a very, very, kind of just large amount of product on the convertible top. Okay, so now that I've got my whole convertible top pretty much soaked with water and the all-purpose cleaner cleans all from Showcar, I'm gonna use these two brushes. Now these are my wheel brush and my wheel well brush. And I know what some of you are thinking, don't take super dirty brushes like this, the wheel well brush, the wheel brush that get really dirty to a convertible top. But number one, the convertible top gets extremely, extremely dirty as well, a lot more dirty than you would think because it's not like a regular roof that can just be clayed and washed and then you have everything that's stripped off of it. It literally is kind of like the carpet of the interior of the car, but rather than just getting the dirt and grime from your shoes because it's on the interior, it gets the dirt and grime from the outside. And so though these are four dirty jobs, this is a dirty job and so I don't worry about it. But number two, I have washed these brushes off very, very thoroughly before I actually do this so that they're both very clean. Of course, I have the long handle just to help me get more of the roof without having to strain myself and the short handle for the side. So all I'm gonna do, it's very, very basic, really doesn't take any strategy. I'm just gonna scrub all of that cleaner in with these two brushes. Okay, so you guys saw that I rinsed everything off and they actually, it's really not hard to rinse off all-purpose cleaner or degreaser or just a cleaner in general from convertible tops because they are made with a certain material. Though they are fabric, they're made with a certain material where things don't kind of seep into them almost. Like it is, you know, obviously you're, when you're in the car, you don't have things dripping in when you have a convertible top because they're obviously very, very protected even though they are a sort of cloth fabric material. So it is pretty easy to rinse everything off. So really the only next step is that I'm gonna let all of this dry and then come in afterwards because when it dries, a lot of times with brushes or with rags, there are kind of like these little lint pieces, these little fibers that are left on the convertible top and be, especially when it's black like this, you can really see them, it's really obvious. And so one thing you're gonna wanna do is when it dries, you're gonna wanna get rid of that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it some time to dry and we'll come in when it's dry and talk about what I do after that. All right guys, so the convertible top is dry, but or dry enough, it's not completely dry. So you guys can see there's still some water 
marks and stuff like that but I'm gonna go in so you guys can see what I'm talking about with as far as the fibers go so I wiped the top down with a microfiber towel now I could have let it air dry yes that is an option but what happens is when you use the brushes this is going to happen regardless but it might happen a little bit more with a microfiber so I'm just gonna kind of give you highlight this problem to you you guys can see all these little fibers all over the convertible top so it's black and now you have this kind of juxtaposition between these obvious white fibers and of course I could leave it like this and yeah these will probably go away eventually but I want to give a level 10 service and so these really need to be vacuumed off because they can't be like wiped off with a microfiber you're just gonna get more on there the problem is these are super hard to get off with just a vacuum because kind of like the impossible carpeting these fibers kind of get underneath the weave of the convertible top itself and so they're kind of stuck in there and so if you guys have seen the video about my silicone sponges then you already know that they're a great solution for a problem like this if you haven't seen that video I'm gonna hook up that link right now in the YouTube card so definitely check that out so because those fibers are difficult to vacuum up alone because they get wedged underneath kind of the weave of the convertible top itself I use these silicone kitchen sponges because they work kind of like pet hair brushes but they're malleable so I can move them and kind of use them however I want to and so what I do is use the vacuum and this at the same time to actually pull use these little um, feelers kind of these little rubber bristles silicone bristles to pull the the little white fibers themselves out from underneath the weave of the convertible top and then I use this and vacuum it up at the same time so that I'm not having to just sit there with a the vacuum for minutes on end this is much much faster so this is what that looks like So you guys can see here, this is kind of the middle area that I just did with my silicone sponges and my vacuum so that I pulled those fibers out from underneath the weave of the convertible top and vacuumed them up. And you guys can see on either side that I did not do, you can see all these tiny fibers still here on the left and then on the right as well, you can see all these little fibers here. So once again, you guys can see that it really does work kind of the, those two tools together work really great. I didn't do this part yet, but just kind of this center area. And so that's kind of the result I'm going for for this convertible top. But actually the vacuum itself does kind of dry it out as well which is good sucks up any of that leftover kind of water residue but once again this yes I could leave this here I could let these little white things stay there but I just want this kind of perfect result just like this so that's really it guys it's very very simple but if you don't have the right tools or, or products it can get kind of tedious and really annoying because you are left over with those little fibers and you don't know what to do and then you're disappointed because you know your customer is going to be disappointed and so once again convertible top cleaning no it doesn't need to be over complicated but at the same time there are some things that you need to understand in order to avoid a lot of frustration. So if you guys would like to get or your hands on any of the products or tools I used in this video, whether it be the Show Car All-Purpose Cleaner, my uh, silicone sponges that I use, the wheel brush, the wheel well brush, um, or even the rigid shop vac um, vacuum cleaner that I use, definitely check out the Amazon links below in the YouTube description box because if you use my links to get any of those tools or products, it does give this channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can continue to give out awesome content just like this all the time. And if you like this video make sure to hit the thumbs up button and if you have any questions comments concerns hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below because I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can and if you're new here then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products tools strategies communication skills business skills and so much more all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses and on this channel I share the same strategies that turn my detailing business into a full-time income with only part-time hours so if that interests you definitely consider subscribing once again thank you guys so much for watching and as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detail Keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.